This week I'm doing a full review on the Thames and Cosmos Wind Power Physics Kit. And as much as I love Thames and Cosmos and all of their science kits, and I typically try to put a positive spin on most of the reviews that I do, as much as I hate to say this, Houston, we have a problem. I did this complete kit with my eight year old and I really have to say, compared to the other Thames and Cosmos kits, there are enough issues with this kit that are probably gonna make you wanna save your money or at least put your money towards a different kit to get a better educational value. Technically, the kit does what it says it's supposed to do. So if you're looking for something that will generate electricity, this might be it. But let me show you my concerns. First and foremost, like my mama always said, let's start off by saying the positives. When you open the box, you'll notice the instructional booklet that comes with the Thames and Cosmos kit. Just like a lot of the booklets that come with Thames and Cosmos kits, it's big, it's bright, Right, it's informative, it's very educational. The first thing you get to the kit is basically the build process of the wind turbine. It's a really easy and quick build. My eight year old and I probably had it built in less than 10 minutes. One minor issue, and this by no means is some of the issues I have with the overall kit, is Thames and Cosmos could take a step from the Lego company and put all the Lego pieces in sequential bags as you go through the steps so you're not going back and forth between the bags like Legos do. But again, that's a pretty minor point. In all total, there's only 38 pieces, so it's not that big of a deal. Sometimes I just like to gripe. Once we got the turbine completely built, we ran into our first problem. We got to the next step that says insert your rechargeable AA battery. And it was at that very moment that I realized a rechargeable battery wasn't included in the kit. It doesn't come with a rechargeable battery. What? Who has rechargeable batteries in their home? So that was pretty much a hard stop in the building process because I knew we didn't have any of those batteries around the house. I told my son that we would skip forward, build the car that came with it, and it was at that point that I came to the realization of the overall problem with this kit. The electric motor that generates the electricity inside the turbine is the same motor that powers the car that you're supposed to build. So basically the motor is on the turbine outside. Once it's generated some electricity, you have to take the motor off the turbine, come inside and build the car. You can play with the car for a while, but once the battery is dead, you have to disassemble the car and then put the generator back on the turbine so it can then generate some more electricity. There's the main issue. For just a few dollars more, they could have included a dedicated motor for the car, so all you have to do is take the battery out of the turbine, put it into the car, play with the car. When the battery's out, you can take the battery out of the car, put it back into the turbine. Nothing has to get disassembled. And more importantly, no pieces have to be lost in the process as you're waiting for the turbine to generate more electricity. It says on the box, wow, charge batteries with wind power. Batteries is plural. When we bought this, I fully expected this would be pretty neat that we could use this to generate electricity for at least multiple batteries, power multiple devices at home. But basically you get a single battery that essentially only powers this thing. And then when you're done, you take it out, put it into the car. When the car is done, you take it out of the car and put it back on here. It's a little cumbersome and overall greatly takes away from the experience of the product. Look at some of the other Thames and Cosmos products I've reviewed. Viewed. Simple machines, gold medal, physics workshop, silver medal. This is without a doubt the best bang for your buck among all their products. I'll link this in the description below. Physics Pro, silver award, also a good product. The wind power kit, no award. It even says new and improved blade design. So they've actually had this out there taking it back to the drawing board and recreated it in somewhat of a supposedly a better fashion. And speaking of the turbine, when we installed this in our backyard, it's unidirectional. The turbines don't pivot on top of the mount. So we mounted this in an east-west direction. You can take a look at the weather station that I have mounted on the studio here. You can see there is wind going, albeit not a lot, but unfortunately it's blowing in a north-south direction. And because these don't pivot, it's missing all that wind and the turbines are stationary. Again, overall, that's not the biggest problem with this kit the biggest problem as i mentioned is the fact that it only charges one battery and it says charge batteries and the main thing is the inability to transfer just the battery from the turbine to the car that you make without having to disassemble it in the process i've loved just about every thames and cosmos products but if you're in the market for one right now low-key buy the physics kits you're probably going to want to skip this one the holidays are coming out check out my holiday guide from last week's video and i'll see you next time